Hi there, hope you're having a great week so far. I'm meteorologist Katie Blake and this is your Encore Weather Current Update for Wednesday, September 6th. Here's what you need to know about the weather over the next week or so. Well, here's something I don't need to tell you. It's gotten hot again and it's going to stay hot for the rest of the week and really through the upcoming weekend. In terms of rain chances, they're also going to be spotty at best through the weekend, but by early next week, we are looking at some bigger weather changes, not only in terms of rain chances, but also in terms of temperatures. We're finally going to see those temperatures come down a bit by early next week. We'll talk more about that briefly. Let's take a quick look back at this summer. We know it's been a very hot summer because we felt it. We've lived through it, but now we have the stats to back it up. So meteorological summer, that's the months of June, July and August. When you take the average temperature over those three months, it was the third hottest summer on record at DFW Airport down in Waco tied for the sixth hottest summer. So like I said, we felt the heat this summer, but now we have the stats to back it up and it's going to continue to feel like summer Wednesday afternoon. Here are your high temperatures for Wednesday afternoon across Encore service territory, triple digits from the Permian Basin out west all the way to the Piney Woods of East Texas, 103 in Round Rock, Round Rock this afternoon, 103 in Sherman, 104 in Dallas. Along with the heat, we'll also have a low chance of a shower or non severe storm through the afternoon and evening hours. You see by 4 p.m. out across East Texas, a few little thunder showers starting to bubble up there during the heat of the day. And then we'll see a few more of these thunder showers spread out uh, along and just west of the I 35 corridor through about 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Now, the severe weather threat is very low this afternoon and evening, but any storms that develop could have some lightning and also gusty winds. So if you've got outdoor plans this evening, if you hear thunder, remember to take everyone inside and put safety first through 10 p.m. Once the sun goes down, we'll start to see these little thunder showers fizzle on out and then it will be quiet through the overnight hours. As we finish out the work week, look at this 107 on Friday. So again, we've got a few more afternoons of this intense triple digit heat here in early September. And then finally, temperatures on the downward trend through early next week, 93 three on Monday and then no, your eyes are not deceiving you. That's a high in the 80s by Tuesday of next week. This will all be due to a significant weather pattern change over Texas. Uh, we'll be stuck with the heat high, very hot conditions over the next several afternoons, but by early next week, that's going to move away and make room for scattered rain to move into Texas by early next week, Monday and Tuesday. Our best chances will start to kick in on Monday and continue through Tuesday. There will be a little frontal boundary associated with those rain chances, and that's what will help to get our temperatures down into the low 90s Monday and then mid 80s on Tuesday. Tuesday. So bigger changes coming early next week, but until then some intense triple digit heat will continue through the end of the work week and the start of the upcoming weekend. Keep in mind spotty rain chances each day through the end of the weekend as well. On behalf of everyone at Encore, enjoy the rest of your week. Stay safe and we'll see you here next Wednesday for another Encore weather current video forecast.